Social constructionism. In many ways, social constructionism can be seen as a critique of psychology's aim and claim to be a science. Thus, whilst the scientific approach assumes a universal or essential truth to our psychological being, a truth that can be discovered by pursuing valid and reliable methods, social constructionists doubt the existence of this universal truth. They argue the social world, including our knowledge of it, are products of human social interaction. As researchers, we don't discover knowledge, we construct it. We choose what to research, how to do so, how to interpret it. Even if there was an essential truth and we pursued it rigorously, our knowledge would only ever be partial and never neutral. Such thinking was facilitated by ideas in art and culture, which asked us to look and think again about our assumptions. Duchamp's fountain challenged us to look not just at the object, which is basically a urinal, but to the context and in our interpretation of it. Magritte's painting, This is not a pipe, is indeed not a pipe, but a picture of a pipe, and it challenges our assumption that words and images should align. These ways of thinking remind us that meaning does not exist of itself, but in the way it's used. Similarly, social constructionists look at how such meanings are constructed and used and ask what are the consequences of this. An example might be gender. A scientific psychological approach might be interested in differences between men and women. They might account for these by evolution. They might even look for differences in the brain. A social constructionist would be suspicious and ask, how have these ideas of being male and female been constructed? How do people use these categories, and who does this benefit? They might argue this is arbitrary. Why this category? Is there not as much difference between tall and small people? Social constructionists look more closely at what we assume to be common sense. They remind us that this is not natural or neutral, but cultural and arbitrary, and benefits some and not others. So, even if social constructionism is not your thing, it has value to you as researchers. It invites you to critically reflect upon the concepts you use in research. It can expose issues of power, help show how things change, and has within it the power to make things change also.